Hello and welcome. This is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix Google page indexing issues on your website step by step. So as you can see here, I've got a huge number of pages not getting indexed in Google Search Console for six reasons. Now, if I scroll a bit down, you're going to find the six reasons. So specifically in this video, we're going to talk about this issue excluded by no index tag. I'm going to show you two different ways how you can fix this issue for your website. So if I click here on this issue, it is going to show us the affected pages by no index tag on Google Search Console. And if you scroll a bit down, we're going to find the URLs that's been affected. So as you can see here, I'm seeing some random URLs appearing here on this list, which should not be here. So there may be some issues with Google Search Console as well. So they picked up some URLs, which not supposed to be here and showing us that we block them with no index tag. We're going to fix this throughout this video. So if I open up this link here and you can see that this is not an actual page. It's a search reference randomly taken by Google page, uh, Google Search Console. And if you take a look at the second URL, if I open it up in a new tab, you can notice it is taking us to our WordPress backend login page. So we are going to work on this. And if you take a look at some other pages here or URLs, just take a look. This is a blog post, but I didn't enter this feed option. But they picked up and now showing that it is excluded by no index tag. So now let me show you how you can find the no index tag based blog posts or pages on your website. So let me take you back to WordPress dashboard and after that go to posts and make sure you have installed Yoast SEO or Rank Myth SEO. On both of the platforms, the process is kind of similar. So here after appearing or reaching to this page, all posts page on your website backend, you can filter these options. For instance, from all SEO scores, you can select the pages uh, containing the post no index tag. So I am using Yoast SEO and this is the reason why the data is being appeared here. So now if I click on filter, it is going to show me the number of blog posts that are having this no index tag. So to solve the problem, simply we have to click on this edit option so that the blog post editor will open up. And now I'm going to scroll a bit down until we find the advanced option of Yoast SEO. I'm using Yoast, but you can do this from Rank Math as well. So from advanced tab, you're going to find this option, allow search engines to show this post in search results, which is currently set to no. Make sure you are allowing search engines to allow this post to index. So I have just selected to yes. Then should search engines follow links on this post, you can make it to yes as well. And that's it. Now let's click on update. We are done from our website for same way. If you want to make any change, index, no index space uh, pages, the process is simple. Simply go to pages and from all pages tab, you are going to select from this option to post no index and click on filter. It is going to show you all the pages containing no index tab since I don't have any no index pages, right? So we're done with the website part. So now let me take you back here. And after that, we are going to sort out the issues with the URLs. For instance, I'm going to just take a look. This one is appearing with uh, learners.world slash uh, the question mark as equal something. So if you just take a look at some other, some other pages containing this issue, coming up with this same parameter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy this part from here. So these are unique on every pages. As you can see here, this one is uh, different than this one, but the front, front part is appearing the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy this part this way. And after that, we have to go to removables. And after that, we're going to click on new request here. And then we're going to enter the URL that we copied. And then we're going to select this option, remove all URLs with this prefix. So whatever URL it is going to appear with this prefix, they are going to remove from the indexing, right? So if you want to work with a single URL, simply click here and put the URL there. 
click on next that's it so as i want to get all the urls fixed or removed from my website which is containing this prefix so i'm going to select this one then click on next and then i'm going to click on submit request so close now if i take you back to pages then let's say again no index and let's see what other similar patterns appearing so as you can see here it's sack so wp login.php question mark it's sack it has also some similar kind of pages so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this part from here copy and i'm going to go back to removables and then we're going to click on new request then i'm going to paste the url prefix here then i'm going to click on remove all urls with this prefix then i'm going to click on next then i'm going to click on submit request and that's it so they are going to process the request and remove the urls that we want to remove so as you can see i have removed earlier some uh, pages so now it is uh, the google search console will update the number of urls that are not being indexed after let's say a few hours or let's say two or three days or sometime it takes like a week so just wait that's it for resolving the issues with excluded by no index tag so i hope this video was helpful to you if you have got any further question please feel free to let me know by commenting below and thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye